Hey, it's Mike with Holiday Rambler. Today we get a look at an amazing floor plan for those larger families. It's the Vacationer 36F. It has two full bathrooms, bunk beds, and it's built on a 26,000 pound chassis. So here's the Vacationer 36F. As we said, we're on a 26,000 pound chassis with an OCC of 4,881 pounds. The tip to tip length on this unit is actually 38 foot, nine inches. So this particular exterior graphic is the crushed pepper. We have three other graphics that you can choose from and one's gonna be carmine, crimson, and still water. And we'll post all those up there so you can get a visual of what they look like. So starting on the exterior, looking at some of the features, this is all powered by the Ford 7.3 liter V8. It has 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. We have the Michelin 25580R 22.5 inch tires, and those are wrapped around aluminum Alcoa wheels. So with those 22 and a half inch tires and this 26,000 pound chassis, you got a big, solid, beefy structure that's gonna give you a nice, smooth, stable, and safe ride. Working down the exterior of the unit, looking at the features, first we have a Truma AquaGo tankless water heater, providing hot water to those two interior bathrooms. And our first compartment's mainly electrical components and our 24,000 or our 24 gallon propane tank. We have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and our battery control box and our slide out disconnect right there as well. And actually we have our inverter disconnect located in here also. Right above that, we have our exterior entertainment system. We have an LED TV and a sound bar on the bottom of it, which is gonna really enhance the audio when you're sitting out here underneath your large patio. Our furnace door is right here. Our next compartment is a massive pass-through storage area. It's all rotocast. It's a military grade composite. There's no wood in this basement that you're gonna to have to replace later on. Also, there's no carpet in here that you have to worry about mildewing and staining. If a tiki torch spills in here, if firewood gets put in here, all those greasy things rust from your rivets on your lawn chairs, you have to worry about it staining your compartment. It looks great in here for many years. So we have our 110 hookups. And one thing I like to point out with Holiday Rambler, every underbelly that we have is gonna be uh, lined in sheet steel. And that's the bottom of our slide out boxes. And plus under here on the bottom of our floor, so some of the other units you see out there may have a dark home material, which is like a tarp. And you throw a lawn chair in here or a tiki torch in here, there's a good chance where you can rip it. With the sheet steel, that's not gonna be a problem for you. And plus it's the best moisture protection you're gonna get. Moving back to our next compartment, we have more pass-through storage as well. And one thing I like to point out in this area is the way we do our openings for access into our basement there's no latches all of our latches are integrated over onto the side they're not protruding out into the opening giving you an opportunity to hang up all of your cargo when you put it in here and ripping it um, all of our openings are domed that's going to help assist water runoff so you don't have water freezing on there and keeping your doors shut the next compartment we have that same rotocast lining lit really well and again it's all rotocast very low maintenance with rotocast right here again same thing rotocast compartments this one is not passed through storage but we have our tank located right up above there and our last compartment is passed through storage and we have one box of the Tarket flooring We'll talk about that on the inside and our ladder extension for access up on the roof. Now, moving on to the rear of the unit, we have a full fiberglass rear cap. Right up top, we have our backup camera with one-way audio. Makes it really nice. That way your, your spotter can communicate with you when you're trying to back up in those tight places. We have a two-piece ladder. We like to do the two-piece ladders. It helps with the kids in the campground. What's one game you see all the kids playing at in the campground? Hide and seek. I know if I was playing in hide and seek, that would be a great place to hide. So it's gonna prevent that from uh, anybody getting up there and get hurt. Right here, we have an 8,000 pound hitch and our plug for your tow vehicle is already incorporated right there. 
Moving on over to the driver's side of the unit, we have our fuel fill in the rear of the unit. Our first compartment is our first compartment is our 50 amp power cord. We have our surge guard and our transfer switch right there. Just so you know what's going on with that, that transfer switch is basically determining where your power source is coming from. Is it coming from your generator or is it coming from the post? And then it's gonna switch back and forth right here. It's all done internally. There's nothing you need to worry about. The next compartment here is our utility bay. As we said, there's our tanks. Our knife valves are right here. We got our black and gray. We have a hole routed in the bottom with a cap. That way we can run our sewer hose out of it. And then over here, we have our sandy flush. We have the city water, an exterior shower. That way you can spray off all that camping gear, clean up the pets before they go inside, whatever you need to do. Water pump switch, 110 hookups. And behind that, we have a whole house filter and you have easy access to your uh, water pump as well. And our next compartment is just pass-through storage. As you see, it's lit very well and uh, plenty of room to store those larger objects. And this compartment right here is storage. And this is our module right here for our full slide system. The 36F does have a full slide. Um, really opens up the floor plan as well. And these are all power gear slide outs. They're electric slide outs. But one thing I really love about power gear is that no matter what happens, we can always get our slide outs in. And the way to do that is grab that camera. Right inside here is our motor for our power gear. And as you can see right here is a bolt. We can put, I believe it's a three quarter inch wrench on that and crank our slide out boxes in manually. But before you do that, make sure we turn the brake off that's located right there. And one other way, if that was not working, right here's our power cord. So this is a 12 volt system. So if we added 12 volt power to that as in a Makita battery or something like that, we could still get our slide out boxes in. But with the full slide, we have three rams. Everywhere you see one of these is a ram or a motor. So they, those would have to be taken in in short intervals together. That way we don't pull these slide out out of alignment. Um, moving up forward. But the great thing about that is you're never going to get stranded. So if you're at a campsite and your boxes will not come in, typically if you don't have like a system like this, you're going to be stuck there until maintenance or somebody can come and help you out. With the power gear, you can literally crank it in manually, get home safely on time, and then take care of it once you get home. But here's that large slide out compartment again. And it's a really great area to see that full sheet steel underbelly. Very nice, clean area to where it's going to prevent all the moisture and not get ripped by your cargo going in. Next compartment is our 100 gallon fresh water tank. A little bit of storage underneath it. And then we have our valve right there. So if you don't use that full 100 gallons, you can drain that out, very simple. Last compartment is our 5.5K Cummins generator. This is electric fuel injected generator made by Cummins. And then we have our hydraulic fill right here for our four point automatic leveling system. And if you need to get water into this 100 gallon tank right here is where we'll do that is your gravity fill right here we have our cameras integrated into our mirrors we have uh, they're contrasting chrome and black they are heated they're power electric and we have our turn signals incorporated in them as well coming up to the front of the unit the large panoramic window right underneath the hood which is locked but we have access to our routine maintenance. We have our windshield wiper fluid and we have our 12 volt starting battery here as well. Now let's jump inside the unit and take a look at some of the interior features. All right, now that we're inside the unit, it's all closed up in travel mode. Let's look at the access we have to our amenities. One thing I love about the 36F is right behind the driver's seat and passenger seat is our pantry. We have full access to the pantry with adjustable shelves and then the bottom we have pull-out shelves. So getting a snack while you're traveling is very simple. Back into the galley, we have full access to the sink, our three burning cooktop and our convection microwave. 
Refrigerator, no issues at all with that. Oh, there we go. And another great thing about the 36S, when this is in travel mode, it's very accessible. You can sit down in the theater seating, pull up the footrest. There's not many where you can actually extend the footrest while it's closed up and have a great view of the television. So if you're taking that thousand mile trip from up here in Decatur down to Florida, what more comfortable way is there to do it than in this 36F? Coming back to the bathroom, the door opens up and we have plenty of access to get into the bathroom. And this is a full bath as well. The kids, I'm always amazed at the strength of these magnets, but the kids have full access to their bunk beds. And the tightest area is gonna be right here with the TV, but still plenty of access to get into the rear. And this bed is able to be laid all the way down while it's closed up. So as you can see, this is one of probably the best units we have for accessibility when it's closed up in travel mode. Now let's get this unit opened up and look at some of the interior features. So this unit's now all opened up in camping mode. This particular unit is Waterford interior decor and that is paired with the Whispering Wind Wood. We do have three other options for interior wood and one's gonna be bourbon, which is a wood grain pattern just like this, but instead of the gray accents, it's like an oak color. And then the other two options are gonna be a white painted wood. One's gonna be fossil, and that's just a solid white painted wood. And then we have summit ash. Now the summit ash is a white painted wood as well, but it has a gray glazing on it. And then all of the inlays are gray lined as well. So it adds a little off color, so that way it'll hold up the fingerprints a little bit more if that's a concern for you. There are three other interior decors as well, but the best way to view those is to jump on holidayrambler.com and go to the vacationer, and that way you can see all the interior decors paired with all of the um, wood options as well. So let's start in the cockpit. We'll work our way back and look at some of the interior features. So moving into the cockpit, Right on to the left, we have our armrest, which is cleaned up pretty well. We have our controls for our four-point automatic leveling system. We have a cup holder, and we have switches for the controls of our mirrors. The one on the left, the little red switch, that is for the heat that's in your power mirrors. Right to the right, on the bottom, we have our headlight controls. Above that, we have four switches with our front blinds and our front shades those are power we have our auxiliary start and our fan now on that auxiliary start you have to hold that switch down that is not on a locked rocker switch um, you hold it down when you're done using it you release it but a great thing about holiday rambler and how they do the vacation is the dual monitors the monitor here on the left is dedicated strictly to our cameras and by hitting this mode button, we can toggle from the rear camera to each side. And then we can go to other configurations where we can display one, two, or three cameras all at the same time, whatever configuration you prefer. And the camera that's over here on the right is dedicated strictly to our um, entertainment. So that we can hook our Apple CarPlay up to that and that will display our navigation. And if we're going to do that, this is the USB port that we would use to activate Apple CarPlay. Then our dash is electronic dash, which does display a lot of features as well as like miles till empty and all of the things you would find in your residential car as well. Right to the right, we have a couple more switches as well. We have our fog lights, our map lights, utility lights, auto, or not auto, but our generator switch, and our park and travel switch for our radio. Into the compart or center console, again, we have our radio, some storage right here with USB as well if you need to charge your cell phone and you do not want it activated to the CarPlay. All of our climate controls, we have three cup holders, some storage here, and there is a lot of storage on the back side of this as well. And then we'll go over to the passenger side. 
We have redone our laptop table this year. So instead of pulling out, this one actually lifts up and then comes to you. It's still a very stable um, table. It makes it nice for a snack or if you need to do some work while you're on the road. And over here, the passenger has um, fan controls as well and their own personal map lights. Coming up above, when you get the drop down bed, which is an option, all of your doors slide and we have some electrical components up here plus some storage. The light switch right here is for the light that's above the bed and we have our TV lockout as well with some 110 outlets as well. LED TV and then right above the driver's side, again, just some more storage up here. We have storage on each side of the unit and the one that's on the passenger side has our Wi-Fi Ranger tag. Now when you need to hook up to the campground's Wi-Fi, that is the sticker that you'll come to. That has your network ID, your password, and all that already on it. Now as we come back, we talked about the drop-down bed. This has a 500 pound capacity, very quiet. It operates on a key with the thickness of, these, of this drop-down bed. We have teak slats in them that act as leaf springs. It really adds to how comfortable this unit is up here. Right above our entry door, we have the key. Well, the key is in it, so we can run that down real quick. And it should stop right above the seats and the lights will come on automatically just like that and again if you wanted those lights off right on that overhead on the above the passenger seat is the switch for that and then we also have our slide out room controls as well so if that, that's for the full slide and that's on a key as well so if that full slide isn't working first thing you need to do is make sure that key's on And we have our Precision Circuits Multiplex here as well. This is a centralized location that where we control almost all the features in our unit. And it's conveniently located right inside the door. This isn't the only place where you can control your features. We have slide out, we have light switches in the back of the coach, we have them down here as well. But this is one place where you can control almost everything, such as all of your lights, your check the levels of your tanks, the levels of your batteries, run your slide outs out, run your slide outs in, all of our awnings. We can program all the parameters for our auto gen start right here, such as temperature, voltage, um, quiet time. We have our water pump it can be turned on here, our entry step lockout, all of our HVAC controls, as well as our fans and our storm guards. They can all be controlled right here. Moving into the kitchen of the 36F. For dinette, we have a facing dinette. This does drop down for additional sleeping. Very simple, just by pulling the little black lever and then shoving them down. We can do that on both sides. It's one good thing about the drop down dinette. Everything you need to convert this in a bed is right here. Happens very quick and not a lot of hassle. To put them back up, Let's pull the lever again, get it started, and bring the table up, and make sure you lock it. You don't want to be eating a bowl of cereal in the morning, forget to lock that table and then it goes down on you. Right over here is the galley, all solid surface tops. We have a stainless steel, double bowl sink, all chrome hardware. 13 by 60 picture box window, which has a full residential tile, even coming onto the reefer wall. And it's again, it's full length. Some manufacturers don't give you a four to six inch backsplash. We go clear to the top, really makes it look nice. Underneath these solid surface tops, we have our three burning cooktop. And we can option in to have a oven put in as well, if you want. This particular unit just has a large opening for storage. You can fit a very large trash can in there. We have four drawers in the middle. And then right on underneath to the uh, sink, both of these doors open up into the same compartment. We have our water heater bypass and then some of the plumbing for our sink. 
right up above it. Again, ton of storage, all metal hardware, metal hinges, metal latches, metal brackets for adjustable shelving. Everything's Ozite lined, which is uh, not only does it give it a nice finished look, it also cuts down the chatter. So when you're traveling down the road, last thing you want to hear is plates chattering the whole time. So it really absorbs some of that noise as well. Moving back to the refrigerator, that is a Samsung stainless steel refrigerator. We have the lock right here for the doors. It opens up. And now the lock for their freezer is located onto the side. You flip that down and then it comes out. And that does have an ice maker in it as well. Directly across from the refrigerator is our theater seating. Both of them do recline. They are manual. Right here's the lever for that. We have storage in the middle. And again, storage up top. All Ozite lined. There's our plastic for the furniture. And this area right here, this is your HDMI uh, matrix box. So basically, to make it quick, we can use this Blu-ray player, which is included, and we can display that on any of our TVs through this box right here. They're labeled right here in four categories, your main TV, your bedroom TV, your exterior TV, and a supplemental TV. But we can switch from four different inputs on each of those. So if you have a PlayStation, satellites, Blu-ray players, you only need one Blu-ray player, and then we can pick which one we want to put it on. And the TV to that, is dedicated to the living area is right here on this beautiful accent wall we have an led tv and we have our sound bar underneath it we have storage up above and we have a fireplace located down below and this fireplace does put out 5300 btus of heat so not only is it aesthetically pleasing it is functional as well and what makes a 36f a 36f and that's these bunk beds so again, very strong magnets. Um, so these bunk beds can be used as storage. As you can see, we have a hanging bar right up top. So if you're not using them as bunk beds, we have a nice hanging wardrobe. We have 110 hookups and USB on both bunk beds. And then down below, we have two drawers for each bunk bed spot. So four in total. So basically all of the amenities that a kid has at their house, they have in these bunk beds with their own storage, their own lights, and their own TV right here that's dedicated for that bunk bed. Um, storage up above. This is where you're gonna find our fuses for our Lumaplex. And we have storage down below as well. And there are coax hookups in here as well that's going to transfer over to this TV. And then we'll slide into the bathroom. Forgot the bathroom. So as we said, the 36F is a double bath with showers in both. This is a fiberglass shower. And we have chrome hardware and it is all adjustable just by turning the knob we can set the height of it and we have a skylight as well that lets in a ton of ambient light making this area look even bigger than it is we have a porcelain toilet and a nice little storage area right there with some usable countertop space we have a stainless steel sink with storage down below right above that sink we have a medicine cabinet so plenty of storage inside this mid bath and then we'll move back into the bedroom moving back into the bedroom we have pocket doors and a king bed this is not an articulating bed it will always be down in travel mode or camping mode so always fully functional and then on the nightstands, we have 110 and USB hookups. On this side, we have a generator start switch. But again, this unit has auto gen start. So you can program that by your temperature or your voltage. So there's, all, there's many ways to start that generator. But if you forget to set that, we do have a switch here as well. 
Right up above, we have plenty of storage. All Ozite lined, again, metal hardware. This center section is pretty neat. It opened the door, light comes on automatically. We have 110 hookups inside there. And plus we have this little notch cut out in the wood that allows your CPAP to be fully functional in behind this cabinet. And then your hoses will be routed out that notch. And uh, each side obviously has their reading lights. Coming directly across from the bed, we have a nice large hanging wardrobe spot and we have adjustable shelving right here which really makes the closet look nice and give you a spot to put those shoes and other items this access panel right here is for your travel locks on uh, the two little fingers that extend outside the slide out box when it's closed up that's what that is we do have cedar lining and then a, a neat thing about our wardrobes right inside our wardrobes we have this tag this tag, if you ever need to order a pillow or anything, you can come to this tag and it'll tell you exactly what colors and what the part numbers are for every fabric in this unit. Right below that, we have a huge pull-out drawer and three, four more, sorry, drawers over here on this side. Plenty of wardrobe space in this 36F. We have our TV that's dedicated for the bedroom. And then behind that TV, we have a large storage area as well. Coming back into the second bathroom, this area right here is storage in this particular unit, but it is already prepped and that comes standard for a uh, combo washer and dryer. So you can make the, you can choose if you want one in here or not. But even if you do, we have a nice, large uh, prep area up here for folding laundry or getting ready in the morning. We have a stainless steel sink. We have our medicine cabinet that's right above the sink and a nice storage area here if you're putting laundry soap, any detergents, fabric softeners, or you can use it for linens as well. Again, porcelain toilet, and that's going to be common throughout all Holiday Rambler products. We don't use no ABS at all and right over here we have glass doors for our bath or our shower and that is a fiberglass shower this shower has a bench built into it and again we have that same chrome faucet which is adjustable has our soap tray built in as well and then we have our skylight making uh, those taller folks a lot more comfortable when they're taking their shower and one thing I did forget to mention, I just looked at, is that Tarquette flooring that we mentioned out there. The Vacationer has Tarquette all the way through it. And that Tarquette is a nice composite tile. It's hand laid, interlocking, and I love composite. I try to eliminate wood in anything I do at home too, like your patios. Wood takes maintenance, wood needs to be replaced. You go to the composite, it's maintenance free, essentially and it lasts for many many years and it always looks brand new so that's what you're going to get in your vacationer 36f is full composite um, tarquette flooring so that wraps up the walk around of the vacationer 36f and as i promised i'll continue to give you the msrp the msrp of a base vacationer 36f is 224,276 dollars and again that's msrp I highly recommend you jump out to your Holiday Rambler dealer, let them know that you're interested in a 36F and they'll be able to give you the best pricing and availability as well. So if you found this video to be useful, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up button, and then don't forget about the comment section down below. Ask any questions you may have and we'll do our very best to answer those for you and we'll see you on the next walk around.